welcome back to the channel where we're checking out NFT games and play to earn games. Today we're going to be looking at Alluvium and looking at some price predictions for the land sale. Um, we've done this a little while back. We've seen the initial price prediction. Um, now we're talking about when, when is the land sale, um, which we're going to get into. And then also the price predictions that I'm looking at. Again, this is something that we've covered quite a bit in the past but using one of the calculators that we have, um, thinking of 2x, 3x, 5x, depending what that is going to look like, how is it going to affect Alluvium? So we know when the initial prices came out for the land sale, um, a lot of players were happy with them because they were a little bit lower than expected. A lot of players super disappointed thinking they were higher than expected. But again, we're going to go through and we're going to break down kind of my anticipation and what I'm thinking these are actually going to look like and also when for the land sale. So let's go ahead and we'll get into it. All right, guys, so here is the Alluvium Zero land prices. Um, this is from Dumb Player over on Discord. Very cool pinned message within the Alluvium Zero. So it, it starts with the tier, tier prices. So it does update with our Ethereum prices, which you can see right here. It updates with the ILV prices. This is based on the proposed IIP draft. So this was the very first draft that we've seen, guys. Tier one was looking at 0.5 ETH, tier two, 1.5, tier three, five, tier four at 20 Ethereum, and then the tier five land ultimately was going to be closed bidding. So this calculator breaks it down mathematically and shows exactly kind of what you're gonna need to break this down with the minutes left. When it comes to land sale, guys, this is going to be a really vital calculator to have depending again where the prices are. If the price of Ethereum increases um, and the price of ILV stays the same, essentially using the SILV would be, would be kind of not as beneficial um, depending on the price of where SILV lands and where ILV is and where Ethereum is. So we do have a lot of variables that are coming up. When land sale, greatest question that we get every single day in Discord, um, as of right now, January 15th is the tentative date now, with that date being January 15th, we know we also do have the V2 conversion, which should be coming, in my opinion, very, very soon. Because during that time frame, we're gonna have 14 days, we're not gonna earn rewards. After the 14 days, when you do the upgrade or if you do the migration, you're gonna receive the rewards that you would have. As a result, I, I don't feel like they're gonna launch this land sale. Well, players are not earning those rewards, they're not accumulating those rewards. I feel like it's going to be after that, which means we could see when land um, is late as the last week of January, late, you know, mid to late January is my best forecast. Now, looking at this right now, and the big thing that I want to really focus on here is not only the sale price, the tentative sale price, which we know, again, is kind of low. And the question is, why is this low? So a lot of players know the SIV supply, and this is another tab that we have on the bottom. This is the reason, guys. So when you break this down, right now there is 120,000 SILV tokens. That is right. That is what has been redeemed. Um, that we know has been redeemed based on the value. 120,000 tokens. That is right, guys. If you look right in the middle, the current supply of SILV can buy 82% of the land. We know Kiernan has talked about, or Kieran has talked about, um, he wants roughly 50-50 Ethereum SILV. Looking at the current forecast, 82% of land can be bought with SILV. Now, we know in its entirety with the, the land plots, um, not 100% of players are going to use SILV. So let's say theoretically 70% of land is bought with SILV, meaning the remaining 30% is bought with Ethereum. That is going to yield very small revenue distribution. Now, if you are a investor in Alluvium, it, it paints an entire different picture when it comes to the revenue distribution um, versus if you're a player. If you're looking to get the, you know, the, the land within Alluvium um, to, to get the fuel, you know, to get the resources, to get the blueprints, to sell them, everything of that nature. If you're looking to play the actual game, this part doesn't matter. We also do have the entire factor of the investment side. And that's the other big part that a lot of players don't really see past um, it is the investment side of this. So looking total cost in Ethereum, 41,000 ETH, 146,000 SILV, which again is about 26,000 short of where we're at. If the prices stay where they stand today, 
theoretically, if you're talking, you know, let's say hypothetically three weeks, four weeks till land sale, this 82% would be significantly higher because we have another month for players to accumulate SILV, resulting in probably 85, 87, maybe a little bit higher when it comes to overall percentage of land that can be bought with or SILV that can be used for land sale. Again, that makes a really big difference because the revenue distribution aspect of it. So if I'm a player or if I'm a investor that just put a lot into Alluvium, looking for the revenue distribution, if you know 10% of the total land is bought with Ethereum, divided by you know the amount of coins that are on there, um, let's say you know 700,000 coins, it's gonna be a very, very small, small portion of that. This is the reason why the price change. You know, a lot of players don't understand or don't see the logic behind it. So right now, these are the current prices. We know we're looking at 2X. So theoretically, this would go to one Ethereum. That is right, guys. So it's going from the 0.5 to one. It does change quite a bit when it comes to the value. But the big thing to remember is because of this, boom, 82%. We know that out of this, there are going to be 12,000 tier one. So if we even bump this to one Ethereum, our 82 goes down over 10% just moving that. It moves the needle because remember, if you're doubling the price on the Ethereum, um, your land sale is going to go for 12,000 parcels that theoretically could go for higher. Not saying they're going to sell at the one Ethereum price, but that could be the starting point. So simply doubling up the land here. So this would go to three. We'd have tier three at 10. Now tier four is kind of the interesting phenomenon with the land. Um, tier one, two, and three, it was shared. You know, they think the prices are significantly lower than expected. Um, tier four, they felt the price was comfortable. So at 20 Ethereum, you can see systematically um, how the price of a tier three to tier four doubles. Um, again, so when you look at our 82% that we originally started with, now we are down to 71%. So let's double these, three, 10, and then keeping that 51.93. So theoretically, again, just based on these numbers that we're running here within the calculator, um, tier one at one Ethereum, tier two at three, tier three at 10 and 20, puts us at 51.93% of land. Kieran was looking for roughly 50%. So even if we do bump this to 25, boom, that roughly puts us at the starting price. Now, the other big thing to remember with this is it is going to have a degrading factor. So every, I believe it is every minute, the price is going to be reduced. So you see here the calculator on the, on the left, which is the reason why this is very important, guys. So boom, the land sale comes out is 100%. For a tier one, it's going to cost you, you know, one Ethereum. 10 minutes later, that is right, guys, 10 minutes into the land sale, essentially it's dropping almost seven, well, just north of $700 in 10 minutes. Now, when you look at some of the higher tiers, let's say a tier four, for instance, um, your 101,000 is going to 83,000 in 10 minutes, guys. That is right. It is dropping almost $20,000 in 10 minutes, which is absolute insanity. You can see here on um, 10 minutes, you're going to be 72 for SILV tokens. And then even 20 minutes in, you're looking at 59 tokens, which is crazy because it comes from a 101 to a 68. That is right, guys. It dropped what's at 33, 33, 32, um, $1,000 in price in 20 minutes. That's the big part that a lot of players need to kind of wrap their head around in a Dutch auction. So essentially they're thinking that prices are going to be roughly sold at twice or roughly sold at half the price that they're starting at. So if we have this tier one starting at one ETH, one ETH is 4,000. Of course, we're gonna have a lot of players that are gonna FOMO around the 4,000, maybe 35, maybe three, maybe 25, but theoretically, this is going to be roughly the place that players are going to buy is about the 80, um, 80 minutes left, 70 minutes left, around there, roughly half the price. So around the 2000 mark is where they anticipate the land to sell. 
So if it's one Ethereum, Ethereum's at just over 4,000. They're expecting about 2,000. So, so pretty much 50% or, or a 0.5 ETH if this is the price they're starting it at, which again, theoretically puts it back to the price here just for them to Xing in the beginning. Big thing with that though is again, you're gonna have a lot of players that are going into this much earlier, meaning they're gonna FOMO in, you know, when it's 4,000. Okay, well, I've got SILV. I have quite a few SILV already saved. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and buy it as soon as it comes out within the first five minutes, maybe the first 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the land that way I can secure a piece of land and be completely done with the land sale if that's the case. Now, also, I think there are going to be a significant amount of players that are picking up tier one because that's what they can afford. The basic land, the simplest tier, tier one is going to go very quickly in my opinion. The other tier that I feel is going to go super fast is going to be our tier four land. What is the reason for this? When you look at players that invested early, some of the seed investors, um, even some of the larger whales that cannot afford the tier five. So if they bid on a tier five, got outbid, or they just don't want to go for a tier five in general, tier four is going to be the target for players um, that are really looking for the investment side of it. Because not only does it have the landmark when it comes to fuel, but also it is going to be the target for all the players um, that are looking to not only get a good quality piece of land that has a lot of fuel and a lot of resources, but also all of the players that cannot afford the tier five that got in relatively early. Now, with that being said, um, the ROI really does come into effect. And that's the other big thing that we really don't know yet is the return on, on investment is if you're paying 100,000 for a piece of land, if you wait 20 minutes and pay 68K, what is the fuel scenario gonna look like with the land? And that has yet to be revealed, guys. Unfortunately, we do not that, know that information. So essentially, we, we've said this before when we looked at the land sale, is if you're looking at, let's say one fuel is $1, just to use simple math basics, if you get 100 fuel in a day from one single site, um, then you get $100. So $100 a day, how long is it gonna take to make up $68,000? significant amount of time, but you do have, I believe, what, six sites or maybe nine fuel sites on there. So 900 a day divided by, you know, the 68,000 that you're spending for land. That is where we don't know because it, it really depends if it makes 10 land a day, 100 land a day, and essentially, or excuse me, fuel a day, and essentially how much that fuel is going to be based on the cost. We also know that the DIO is going to control the fuel fluctuation in price so it's going to go 25% under, 25% over. So they are going to have the fuel pegged to a certain dollar amount. And it's not going to go up so high or it's not going to go down so high. So essentially, if the game is looking for a million players and all of a sudden we have 5 million players that are looking for fuel, the price is not going to increase over that 25% of what the DIO kind of set the price at, which again, we do not know. Um, we don't know exactly where it is going to be set. So again, when land, um, January 15th, the best estimate, I would probably say the week after, maybe around the 22nd, 23rd, would be theoretically when the land sale comes out. What are the prices going to be, guys? I really feel like these are some solid prices. I, I know we pretty much just 2x everything. Tier 4 did go up a little bit, but ultimately we're looking to hit that 50% mark, which we did, even taking our Tier 4 you know, down to our 20 ETH puts us at about 52% for the current supply, which they felt the tier four number was a pretty good number, but the tier one, two, and three were, were a little light, which in my opinion, again, if you're talking 82% of the community can buy, you know, that can buy land at a super reduced discount, the price of IOV has went up or SIOV has went up significantly um, it was around 280, 300, I believe earlier today, it was around 500, which is crazy. So it's right back to like the 50% mark of the ILV. But if a lot of players continue to pick up some more of that SILV, the price does continue and it has continued to spike for the last couple of days. So if you're looking at it, just go ahead and pick some of those up. Me personally, I, I am shooting for a tier four. I set aside if, if this is where the price is gonna be. I'm hoping it's around 20 because I set aside 50 tokens that we're saving for the land sale. So
So roughly following in the first 10 or 20 minutes. Again, we don't know the method, when it is gonna be released, how many are going to be released. We know there is a total of 869 tier four lands, but we don't know when they're gonna be coming out. Um, if it's gonna be you know three every time, five every time, whatever it may be. Because land is going to go on sale once per hour and it's going to degrade. So essentially, if we have a drop of land here at the 120, 60 minutes in, we could have a second land sale actually drop. Even if the first land sale is not fully complete, um, we will see the land sale drop. We'll see additional properties come available or additional plots come available. Um, even if the price did not, if they did not sell out at the degraded price, which as you can see guys, Dutch auction fades out super, super quick. In 10 minutes, you're talking going down 18%. And even the first 20 minutes, you're down about 34% of the total price, which is absolutely crazy. Again, I want to give a big shout out to Dumb Player 2 um, hashtag 0001. I believe that is the Discord. Um, lead moderator of, I think it's Polmus, um, for go ahead and putting this tracker together, guys. It's very cool to see. Again, I've been kind of playing around this to look at what my targets are, where I'm going to go. A couple things that we do know. One, we know how many tiers are going to be released. That was given to us right here. So we know the breakdown of our 20,000 tiers. Um, we know we're going to be able to choose them in the location. So one of the seven regions that we have within there. But we don't know the plot makeup because it's actually technically not even built until it is minted. So that is something Johnny shared with us. Um, so even here where I get 12 sites, I get nine fuel sites. The site dynamic, the actual NFT of the land is not minted. So there is no picture of it until it is minted. Now that is going to make for a very interesting dynamic because once you have an, a minted land, depending on the land that you have, um, could make a difference on the secondary market. So for instance, if I buy a tier two and I know my tier two has all three Solon, Hyperion, and Krypton, that my tier two piece of land has all three sites. And with my elemental sites, it has all three elemental sites. This could be far more valuable than a tier two that got all of the same fuel or even all of the same elemental sites, which it's unlikely. It could definitely still happen, guys. So I hope the video was, um, was educational. I, I really like looking at it and kind of breaking down. This is where I think the values are going to be. Um, 1 E, 3, 10, and 20. This is where I feel, you know, pretty comfortable. 52% of the SIOV, which of that, theoretically, it's going to be less than 50% because we're not going to burn up every single coin that we have in SIOV within here, guys. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Before we finish, though, go ahead and click on the subscription button, guys. We're going to be covering Alluvium in all of its glory as it does come out. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.